Hello, welcome to Homestead in the Colony. I'm Ann, and I'm so glad that you're here. This is the morning before Ida comes on shore, and I wanted to give a little distraction today and let you all know that we are praying for you, and we're praying for protection over you, and I'm sure that the Lord has His hand on you. So, let's get started in the garden. I wanted to give you a little update on our land of plenty. Yesterday, I pruned these tomato plants back hard because I want to show you, today we're going to uh, go over a few more pruning ideas on your tomato plants. Now, they look a little pitiful right now, but they still have a ton of tomatoes, and honestly, we've had so many, and I'm so grateful for them, that um, it's okay because they've given off all the fruit that we needed for them to give off. And today, we're going to be pruning these. So stay tuned. We're gonna to try to stay out here and stay focused. But you see, this has all come about, I mean, it may just be their time, but um, I think what they've done is they didn't get enough air because I tied them up so tight to try to keep them safe in the storms. So we're going to cut these back really hard. And in the meantime, we're hoping that uh, those geese that are over there in the creek will give us a minute without a bunch of quacking. And what we're doing is any leaf that has this kind of blight, it's, I don't know if it's blight, I don't know what it is. But anyway, it needs to go. Also, what I found is some of these tomatoes, like they'll have this spots on them and then they rot like super duper quickly. So I'm sure that's a fungus. There's a bug in there. So that one's gotta go. But as you can tell, I'm pruning them really hard. This is just kind of the last stage before we pull them out of the ground. I'm not interested in them growing any bigger or lasting until the fall. So I just don't want it to mess up the soil here. Just an example. Well, we have a bunch of naked tomato plants. Look at all the foliage that came off. But honestly, um, it wasn't sad because this is the final stage before we pull all these tomato plants up because we want to make room for other things. And um, yeah, it looks harsh and it looks hard, but uh, these poor little naked tomato plants, I'm just giving these tomatoes a chance. And if they don't work, you know what? I'm gracious and I'm grateful for what we already have. This is something else I wanted to give you an example of. That's bug poop, hornworm poop, yuck. And uh, there's some more over there. And if you see any little like green um, log looking, teeny tiny little green log looking things around the end of your plant, then that's a hornworm. So when you're pruning your tomatoes, <laughs> you prune them back hard. Final stage. Our land of plenty has certainly given us an abundance of crop and we're so happy for that. This is even more. And we are so blessed. There's my radishes, y'all. I'm excited. Thanks for coming to Homestead in the Colony. I'm Ann, and I'm so, so grateful that you're here. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.